Over the years, I've noticed a lot of folks want to, uh, when they come upon it, they're not sure what this animal is here. And they want to say, okay, this is a thing that maybe you plug into the wall. No, it's not. We're talking management of this global information system. So the lingua franca really are bits, zeros and ones. So there, there's not this monolithic thing. Uh, so I, I just would think that as you go forward, how to encourage the concept that um, you're talking about the management of information represented in different form, and not to artificially try to put it in a box. There's this tendency, like people sometimes say, well, the internet is just end to end. And so you have this somehow blank tube going between the ends. Well, maybe in the early, early days, close to 40 years ago, uh, when Bob Kahn and his colleagues were doing their basic experiments on the TCP IP, expediency required them not to require folks to change their networks to add the information flows. But the information flows between different networks of different capabilities. Today, you have devices, you have information resources, you have mobile programs that are working together to exchange different uh, capabilities among themselves. So there's, there's a growing um, richness of diversity in the internet. And so what I would be concerned about is leaping too soon and I know sometimes they get these principles. People want to have principles. Well, it just has to be end to end. Well, no, it doesn't. That takes me back 40 years. Well, it has to be this. No, it doesn't have to be that because it's an open architecture. And as such, it should evolve and thrive.